Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you join the community of learners. So just as I said, we're going to begin this week with our first animation. So let's say that you want to create this slide effect on a 2D image in Photoshop. The way to go about it, we are going to treat the white screen as the template on which we are going to drop our images. We need to make a selection of the white area. So we can use our magic wand to make that selection. So you want to make sure you have your layer selected. We can click and we see that it makes a selection of that particular area and it does a fairly good job it even picks up in between the legs of the subject so with this selected you want to go ahead and add a new layer now we want our template to be on this layer but in order to achieve that we need to put this layer into a group so I'm going to make sure this layer is selected and I'm going to create a group. Now, it seems like the layer is still not in the group. So we're going to pick it up and drop it into the group. So you realize that it's right inside. Now with our white area still selected, we want to click on our group layer and we want to add a layer max. Now the layer max that we added have been applied to our group. So now all the white areas, as you can see in the thumbnail, have been selected. So that is the only place that our pictures are going to show. So now that we have this set, so we want to go to our folder. So I'm going to drag it and drop it right into Photoshop. I'm going to double click and notice that the images, when they came, they fell right on top of our canvas and not in the template that we've created. And the reason is because we don't have our images in the folder, our images in the group folder. So we want to select all our images. So select the top image, hold down shift, select your last image, drag it and put it inside your folder. So once you put it in that folder under that group, you notice that it basically takes the form of that frame that we set um, for the group. So once we have this, we can begin to just flip through if we want to increase any of our pictures, we can scale it like that, or you can select all your pictures like this and just hold down one end of these selections and scale it. Now, if you don't have your transform activated, press command T to activate it. If you are on the windows, control T will activate your transform so you can scale your images like that. Now I'm going to double click. I want to go through each photo to make sure that it's well scaled. So this image, I want to bring it up a little so we have it like that. Now I'm going to flip through the other one. I like this. I want to scale it down a little and move it so he's not cut off. We're going to go to this one. This is too small. So we're going to zoom out and we're going to go ahead and scale this one. So it fills up the page or the frame and we're going to set it in like that. Now, if we want to scale it down a little, we can do that and zoom in and then move this down. We're going to go ahead and see this one is good. I'm going to move here inside the frame and this is also good, but I'm going to move it so we can see it well. So once you have all your pictures in your frame, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the animation effect. So we basically have a slide within our 2D image. 
So you want to go to your image and click on timeline. Now a little window opens on the bottom. We want to create uh, animation frame. So double click on this. It will create a frame for you. So once the frame is created, you notice that we only have one frame, but we have five images. So depending on how many images you want to use for your slide, you need to make sure you have that many timeline or that many frames. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm just going to click on my plus icon to duplicate and I'm just going to do it five. Now I'm going to click on the first one. We want this to be our first image and I believe that is the top one. So we are good. We're going to go to our second slide and I'm going to go to my layers panel and I want to turn off my top image and I want this to be the slide that we see in the second shot. So you notice that in the thumbnail, you see that this image is what you see in the thumbnail. Now, when we click on the third one, we still see the first image. So we want to turn off the visibility of the first and second images so we can see the third image. So we are going to click on the fourth one and we are going to go ahead and turn these off. So we have this image for the fourth slide and we're going to click on the fifth one and we're going to turn off all the visibility for these except the last one. So we have five. Now, once you're done, you need to go back to each image and you notice that all of them are at zero second. So if I hit play, you notice that it goes through very fast. So we want to pause it. Sorry if you were dizzy. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. <laughs> so we're going to take the first one and we're going to click on the seconds and change it to one second. We're going to repeat that for the rest. And we're going to do the same thing here. So now we have all of them going for one second. Now, if I play it, you notice that you get the slide effect that is gradually happening which is a very nice effect. Now, I'm sure maybe you're wondering how come mine is looping and yours just ended. Now, if you want to make sure you have a continuous loop of your slide, you want to go down to this area which says mine is saying forever, but yours might be once or three times. So you want to make sure that it's on forever. That way it will continue to loop once it gets to the end. So once you have this, if you want to save this, export it to your Instagram or send this to a client for them to look at, you want to save this as a GIF. So to save it as a GIF, you want to go to file, you want to export and we want to say save for web. So we're going to click on that and a window pops up. Now you want to make sure that your file type says GIF and you want to choose perpetual and diffusion. We also want to make sure that we have transparency checked. Now everything else we are going to leave like that. But when we come down to the looping option, you want to make sure it says forever. Now because we chose it prior, it defaulted to it, but you want to check it to make sure it defaults to that. If you want to change the size of your final image, you can do that, but I'm going to leave it as is and I'm going to hit save. So once you hit save, a window opens up and you need to go find the place you want to save it. So this is where I want to save mine. So I'm going to change, I'm going to name it wedding. And you want to make sure your format says images only and that's it you click save now when you go into your folder you can find it so you want to right click and you want to say open with google chrome because you want to open it online and you can see that it basically plays it for you so you see how it will look when somebody is watching this online and if you have a website where you want to display 
your images in a slide form this is a very quick and easy way to do that so guys this brings us to the end of this lesson i hope this was helpful please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye y'all